Yeah. 
await the great festival of Christmas, let us prepare ourselves so that we may be shown its true meaning. Let us hear in lessons from Holy Scripture how the prophets of Israel foretold that God would visit and redeem his waiting people. Let us rejoice in our carols and hymns that the good purpose of God is being mightily fulfilled. Let us celebrate the promise that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will bring all men and all things into the glory of God's eternal kingdom. The blind receive their sight and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. But first, let us pray for the world which God so loves. For those who have not heard the good news of God or who do not believe it. For those who walk in darkness and the shadow of death. And for the church in this place and everywhere. That it may be freed from all evil and fear. And may in pure joy lift up the light of the love of God. <coughs> These are prayers and praises. Let us humbly offer to God in the words which Christ himself taught us. Our Father. The first lesson is Isaiah. Hunger ye, hunger ye, my people, say it your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity, iniquity is pardoned, for she hath received of the Lord's hand for all her sins. The voice of him that cried in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all the flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The voice said, Cry. And he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, because the Spirit of the Lord bloweth upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withereth, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever.
will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts.